Hello everyone, my name is Ivan. Welcome to the Galen Framework video tutorials. This is the tutorial number 8 and in this video I will show you how to use structured reporter in Galen Framework. Galen Framework provides a reporting out of the box. It logs all the Galen pages actions like I have shown you in the previous video and it also logs automatically all the check layout actions. But it is also possible to put custom report messages in the same HTML report. In order to do so, you need to get the report from session, like this. And then you can put different messages with different types. For instance, you can put an info message. Or you can put a warning message. Or you can put an error. Let's see how this will work. This is the test where we have added the custom report messaging. And these are our report messages. The info, the warning and error. As you can see it shows you warning as orange and the error as red. But also it changes the status of the test. So now the test is actually failed. And you can see that here. Total failed test 1. So reporting an error makes the test failed. So now let's take a look at some other interesting things of the Galen Framework Reporter. Let's go back to the test. So this is the simplest way of reporting. Uh, but let me show you some other more interesting features. I will remove these report messages, because we don't need them. Now let's take a look again at the report. As you can see here, we also log all the actions on the page. But what I would like to do in this case, I would like to hide all of its message. We want some specific report node that would say that we are going to log in, so that I don't see all of them. And only if I would like to take a look at how Galen Framework actually logs in and what actions does it perform on the page, I would then click that node and expand it. Let's try to do that. So the way to do that is by using the logged function where you have to put a statement log in as test user is a nice statement and then you have to provide a callback so any action within the callback of this logged function would force to put all of the report statements under this log in as test user statement now let's see how this will look at in the resulting HTML report. So now you see that we don't have all those actions on the page, but we only have this log in as test user. And if we click it, it will expand and it will show that it types the user email into the username uh, on the login page. And then it clicks the button. And then we have the layout, which we also can expand and see the rest in it. So this was easy. But now I will show you another interesting trick. So first of all, what I don't like in this case is that we have too much of a code here. It actually makes the test not readable anymore. So I will protect it a little bit. What I would like to do, I would like to move away this clicking and typing from the text to a login page. So instead of using the fields of the login page in the test, I would prefer to do something like login page, login as user and then I can provide the user email and 
then the password. And now I have to create this login as user function on the login page and move all these login page interactions to that function. So my login page is declared in my pages.js file. Here I'm gonna put the login login as user function username password arguments. And this is how I'm going to interact with my page elements on the page. So in this case I don't have any custom message reported into the report, so I, I removed the logs function from here. But what I can do right now is instead of that function that is called logged, I can use the function that is literally called logged function. And you can find it here. This is the documentation. And what I have to do is just change this into logged function have a custom report message and it will have a callback. So now I need to do it like this. And here I can put my report message login as test user. So let's see how it will work. So as you can see, it works the same way. We click all the actions on the page and we report that under this login as test user report node. But now what I would like to do is instead of reporting that message login as test user, I would like to report which username and password we actually use in this login as user function. And log function allows me to use the values of this arguments in this callback in this uh, report message. And I can do it like this. Let's change the report message a little bit. Login as user with email. And password underscore two. So this is the statement that allows me to put the values of the arguments that were provided from my test. So in this case, this is the argument number one, which is a username, and the argument number two is a password. Let's see if this will work. Here we go. We have this message now. Login as user with email test user at example.com and password test123. And if I click it, then I can see all the interactions in it. This is really a useful technique because then your reports will become more readable. So you only you can only log the high-level statement like uh, open the page, log in as this user, do some other action, and then you can hide all the detailed information inside these report nodes. So that when you just open your report, you can only read the high-level stuff so you don't need you don't care about all the details but if you want to investigate what went wrong you want to test how to reproduce it you can open up all these report messages and then you will get more information so these are the most simplest technique that allow you to design your test report the way you want that to look like i hope that was clear thanks for watching